Hey guys, today we are making a very traditional Irish apple cake that is a staple with my family, not just for St. Patrick's Day, but all year long. It is so tender, full of tart apples and just the perfect amount of sweetness. It pairs beautifully with coffee or tea, and while we enjoy the traditional custard sauce, we really love topping it with a little ice cream and caramel sauce instead. The best part is that it's so rustic, simple, and easy to make, so let's just go get started. So in a large bowl, I have three cups of all-purpose flour, and I'm adding in two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and I'm just going to whisk that together. And if you saw my scone video, which I will link down below, I am using the hack again with grating the butter into the dough. So I have a half a cup of butter that is frozen slightly and I am going to grate it into the dough. And then I'm going to mix that around and add in three quarters of a cup of sugar. I have four apples, I like to use Granny Smith for their tartness, that I peeled, cored, and chopped into one inch chunks and I'm just going to add them into the flour mixture. In a separate bowl, I'm going to combine one cup of milk and two large eggs, as well as one teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm going to add that into our flour mixture. And we are just going to stir that until it is incorporated. It is a very thick dough, so do not be surprised. Uh, what happens is the apples have so much moisture in them that as it bakes, it releases all of that into the cake. So it will work out in the end. So I have a greased spring form pan. You could use an eight or nine inch. And I'm just going to add the dough into the pan. and I'm going to sprinkle two tablespoons of sugar on top and that gives it a nice little crunch. And then we are just going to bake the cake at 375 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean and it is nice and golden brown around the edges. And then I will allow this to cool for about 10 minutes before removing the sides of the spring form pan and then I will move it to a cooling rack. Now, I will have my family's custard sauce recipe included in the link in the description. Um, it is more traditional and it's delicious, don't get me wrong, but there's just something about adding a little bit of jarred caramel sauce and some vanilla ice cream on the side that just really hits the spot and it's what my family prefers. I really hope you enjoyed coming along and making Irish apple cake with me. It is great for St. Patrick's Day parties, but like I said, it is also wonderful all year round. It is really special and near and dear to my heart and heritage so i hope you enjoy it and if you did please be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it does help my channel and subscribe if you want to see more fun recipes in the future thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye